Hello from a very tired and sleepless me. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 24, aka Christmas Eve. I'm listening to some Sylvan Esso. We're about to leave for the airport in a little bit. I'm looking shiny, I'm looking gross. I'm looking not slept. It's all right. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys. Uh, at the airport in the car or something like that. It's gonna be a travel day until we get to our destination I'm probably gonna be really really tired and exhausted most of the day, but um, you never know. Maybe I'll have a sudden urge of waking up. Okay Bye. Somehow managed to fit all my crap into this carry-on size suitcase This is the last thing I need to add uh, uh, Yep, she's gonna zip I think Oh my gosh, it's story time. It's the next day, we're it's in, it's Christmas. It does not feel like Christmas, but it's Christmas. We are in St. Kitts. Yeah, I'll get back to that in a minute. So essentially yesterday was the craziest, the absolute most insane travel day you could ever imagine from the time it began. It felt like we were in one of those Christmas movies that everything goes wrong, like the entire day, the whole day. Flying American Airlines, uh, which is the who Megan and I had issues with a week ago, but these these tickets were booked for like our whole family, so it's whatever. It, it, it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. We started having issues as soon as we got to the airport, which we got to the airport at um, we left my house at 5 a.m. So I have a little bit of footage of like from the morning, and then a baby bit of footage from when we first got on our first flight. Our first flight to Miami was at 8 a.m and we had issues when we just first got to the airport checking in all of us checked a bag and then um our flight was at 8 a.m and then we had a connection in miami to go to st kitts and i think that flight was at 11 or something like that and um so we got on our flight a little bit before eight we ended up because of the weather it was pouring and thunderstorming and all this stuff as soon as we got on the plane so they had us sit on the runway and not move for three entire hours i have flown so much and have never sat on the runway for more than one hour and i just didn't even know that they let, like i've heard horror stories of that happening to people but i didn't know that on christmas eve that that freaking happens to people so Three hours, I'm not exaggerating in any way, shape, or form. Um, and then they finally come on at like 11 something and they're like, okay, we just got word. It's a Christmas miracle. We're gonna take off. So then we have our two hour flight after all of that. We of course missed our connection in Miami because of the three hour that we were sitting there. So then the, thank God, there was another flight from Miami to St. Kitts at 7 p.m. So we chilled in the Miami airport for six and a half hours on Christmas Eve. I was coloring and I, I'll show you guys my art actually because I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I was coloring and I was watching Home Alone and Meg was sleeping. <laughs> and um, there you go. Trippy turtles, that's what I called it, ladies and gents. This honestly took me a really long time to do. I think I'm like the type of drawer that's like really, really intricate. Like I was just, I don't know. Um, so that's what I did. We went, we got some food. We were chilling in Miami. We met up with my um, aunt, uncle, and my cousin Freddie, who was really good to see them. I haven't seen them in so long. So it was really good to be with them. We met up with them at the airport because they were flying in. And then we all came to St. Kitts. And this is just where it gets, oh my God. So we, our flight to St. Kitts, three hours. We land at like 11 and um, yeah, now finally we made it, woohoo. We wait in customs line. We get down to the baggage claim. My entire family uh, doesn't have our luggage. It was just not there. And um, 
that again is something that in all of my flying and all of my checking bags has never happened to me before so just really weird um but we hopefully will well, you lost your bag at one time. i did but like i didn't really lose it like as soon as i called they were like oh your bag's here and they brought it the next morning yeah we're just having issues because no one at the airport knew what was going on um, so that's why I look like a freaking piece of ass right now because we don't have anything We don't have hairbrushes, you know what I mean? Like we just we, we don't have anything besides our outfits that we wore on the plane and whatever bag we had on the plane So um, I have sweatpants. I have this and I have a little sweater that I was wearing yesterday So this is just how we're gonna be looking at at the 80 something degree islands until we get our bags back But it is Christmas. Yeah I, we're excited to see our fam and everything like that. Um, I just wish I could make myself look more appropriate. <laughs> we were joking about that we were gonna go to Christmas Christmas brunch nude because our entire family doesn't have anything. Instead, and, we just slept through it. Yeah, we just slept through it, Megan. I was so. We, we went to bed at like 5 something a.m. Um, so anyway, that is the update. That is the reason that the yesterday was literally insane. So that is the reason that like I didn't vlog all of this yesterday. Actually, it got, it got even funnier than that. After we lost our baggage, we were kind of just like, what can you do? Like this day has been insane. We'll figure out the luggage situation. Like we're going to get it. Um, we took a big car kind of like, I don't know, like a large van, a very large van. Yes, a van from the airport. Um, I thought we were just going straight to the hotel. The man is driving on the other side of the road because we're in like the British Virgin Islands So they drive on the right side and he's driving well the right the right side of the car the left side of the road so both reversed from <laughs> what I generally am used to seeing and it was funny we We're it was just like the whole drive was pitch black absolutely pitch black We're like where are we like I don't know so we get out of the van and they drop us off at a boat well they drop us off on a harbor of some sort whatever you want to call it and then we rode a motorboat and they're blasting reggae music and bob marley and i started the wave on the boat and everyone did the wave and we were megan and i were sitting there like just laughing so hard because we just thought we're so amused and the boat ride was really fun that was like the highlight of our day and then after that we took another car once we got off the boat to the hotel and now we're here. Um, I feel like we're in the middle of like nowhere, but that's that's kind of like a cool thing because it took us so long to get here. So that's my story. Um, Merry Christmas and hope you guys are had an amazing Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Ta-ta for now.